Hi, this is Melissa from Blockchain WTF, and today we will be figuring out WTF is a sidechain. A sidechain essentially allows tokens from one blockchain to be securely used in a separate parallel blockchain, but they can still be moved back to the original chain if necessary. Kind of like a car driving in an express lane, it could merge back into the normal highway lanes. This sidechain is attached to the parent chain through a two-way peg. The two-way peg utilizes simple payment verification, or SPV, to show and prove ownership of assets on the parent chain. A user of the parent chain first sends their coins to an output address. The coins then become locked so the user can't spend them elsewhere. Once the transaction has been completed, a confirmation is communicated across the chains after a waiting period. Then the equivalent number of coins is released on the side chain and the user can spend them there. The reverse happens when moving back from the side chain to the main chain. So why have a side chain? Well, the intention is to allow crypto coins to scale and that could allow for different cryptos to interact with one another. Bitcoin core community sees side chains as a way to offer smart contracts and other things that Ethereum offers on their blockchain. Others argue that splitting sections of the network into various side chains doesn't mean that Bitcoin can scale to an infinitely larger amount of transactions per second. Is the Lightning Network a side chain? No, that's an off-chain activity which doesn't happen on the blockchain. Those transactions are not recorded on the Bitcoin blockchain except for the channels open or close. Raiden is the Ethereum version of the Lightning Network that settles the state more frequently, kind of like backing up your computer once a year versus every few months. The saddest and funniest way I've seen this explained online is blockchain is my wife, I deal with her every day, sidechain is my side chick, I get with her here and there, and off-chain is that stranger you meet one night and never call back. Kind of sad, but it helps you remember. Amico Pay and Stroem are two projects that are similar to the Lightning Network that are currently in various stages of development. This sounds like a good idea, is it? Federations are a select few who ultimately determine if or when the coins you use between the main blockchain and the sidechain are locked and released. This is a huge centralization issue, which goes against the reason Bitcoin came to exist. Bitcoin was founded with the intention of creating a source of money that couldn't be seized, taxed, inflated, or controlled like our current fiat money. So having sidechains be centralized goes against everything that Bitcoin stands for, which can lead to the splitting of the Bitcoin core and the Bitcoin cash and the ideological differences between the two communities. Another issue is that sidechains will need their own miners and they aren't incentivized the same way miners are on the main chain. Merge mining has been proposed to be a solution to this. Merge mining allows two different cryptocurrencies based on the same algorithm to be mined simultaneously. It's supposed to allow low hash cryptocurrencies to increase their hashing power behind their network, kind of like having an experienced businessman on the board of your directors for your startup company. Some people see this as a threat to Ethereum because it would allow Bitcoin's network the ability to have smart contracts on their platform, but people who are Bitcoin maximalists refuse the centralization aspect of sidechains and instead opt for using colored coins on Bitcoin Cash's blockchain. A few notable companies trying to work out the kinks of the sidechain implementation are Blockstream, Rootstock, and Plasma. Blockstream is the blockchain technology company that funds Bitcoin Core. They are the originator of the sidechains, but are also working on off-chain scaling options as well. Elements Alpha is open-sourced code pegged into Bitcoin's testnet that works through the centralized protocol adapter. Rootstock, or RSK, is a smart contract platform that is connected to Bitcoin blockchain through sidechain technology. Ginger is their open source testnet for smart contracts. They incorporate a Turing complete virtual machine to Bitcoin. This is essentially the same source code that runs on Ethereum. By being backwards compatible with Ethereum, they are able to harness and build on the work that Ethereum developers have already done on their platform. Plasma is a series of contracts which runs on top of a root blockchain. Plasma will get rid of unnecessary data in the root chain. It will handle smart contracts, much like its foundation, but it will only broadcast completed transactions to the public Ethereum chain. Know of any other notable side chains? Throw it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching.